Hey guys, today I have a super important message for you. That is, do not buy cheap training equipment. Mark my words, if you decide to go cheap in the fitness world, you are gonna pay the price dearly. And to start off this video, I wanna give you a nice little story that made me realize this, because you know what? I've always been a cheap fuck. In fact, I'm one of the cheapest guys around. But being cheap can cost you your gym career. Being cheap can cost you an injury. See, two days ago, I went to the gym, decided to train my neck, and I usually use a neck uh, extension machine because it's four-way and it's really good, right? But I said, fuck it, let me do some harness work. So I strap on a harness, I'm doing a plate, easy weight, going good, do a plate and a half, pretty good. I slap on two plates, what do you think happens? I'm doing the exercise, boom, fucking snaps right off. Snaps off my head while I'm doing the exercise. Do you know how dangerous that is? Let me show you what it looks like. See this harness? These are where the loops are. The fucking loop actually ripped off with the chain. This could have been a life-threatening injury. This could have been really, really serious shit. Imagine if the weight was really heavy and it slings back like that. So this was me being a cheap fuck. I bought this harness for like 20 bucks because it was a good deal. And this is the price you gotta pay. Sometimes you're gonna, you might get injured. Luckily, I managed to, I was quick enough and it snapped right off, I didn't get hurt, but that's just one example right there. Another example is straps. For years, I would buy really, really cheap straps because I want to save money. Well, guess what? Every time I did that, they would fucking tear. They wouldn't grip on properly. And I would have to buy more and more straps, which would cost me more money. So one day I said, fuck it. Let me go pro from the get-go. So that's what I did. I got Iron Mind wrist straps. Haven't had a single problem since. You need to have strong training equipment, guys. I know there's a time. I mean, you want to be frugal. You don't want to be an idiot and blow your money on these high, uh, like on these brand names and all this shit. But you still got to get high quality parts. That's what I'm trying to say. When I say not to be cheap i'm not saying that you have to buy state-of-the-art equipment here no i'm just stating that you can't buy super cheap quality shit all right it has to be from a reputable company and there are not too many that i trust out there i would say rogue fitness is great elite fts and iron mine these are the three companies that i would trust the most uh, all these other uh, like all these other companies that try to compete many of them tend to be very shady now of course i'm not excluding some that are actually good if i just said these three but those are just Three examples of what I believe are reputable companies. Don't buy from cheap, unknown sources. Make sure that your shit, make sure that there's at least some testimonials. People, like it's time tested. People have been using these products for a long time and you're gonna be good. Same thing with the bands. A lot of guys end up buying these cheap bands off Amazon and they're like really, really shit quality and it ends up fucking tearing during exercise. You know how dangerous that is? Imagine you're doing a bench press and then one band uh, slings off. Next thing you know, you're like this, you know? Or what if you're doing band face pulls and then it just falls off and hits you in the face? This happened to me in the past. So. The message of this video is very clear. Don't be cheap when buying training equipment. It is your body, it is your uh, career. You can get injured here. If you're gonna buy a belt, buy a good fucking belt or don't wear one at all. That's one of the rules that I live by. If you're gonna get training equipment, make sure it's good. The only thing that it would be different for is like uh, medicine balls, kettlebells. Uh, you don't need anything special for that. Weight plates are standard for the most part. Speed ropes, standard. I mean, you also, you don't wanna be smart. You don't wanna be a fucking dumbass. If you see that, Two products are pretty much the same, except one is much higher in price just because there's a brand name attached. Then obviously you want to go with the one that's no brand name, right? But it has to be of good quality. That's all I'm trying to say. So that's the premise of this video. Be intelligent when buying training equipment because you need to maximize your performance if you're buying this equipment. I mean, that, that's why you're doing it, right? And you have to make sure that's not going to get you injured. Uh, I remember one time I bought these uh, fat grips, right? Like you've seen me do it in my videos. Uh, they were like a fake brand but they did as, they, they, they were two inches, right? But guess what? They roll, they're like a rolling thunder. And that's not what I wanted to buy. I wanted to buy legit fat grips that could be used like an axle. Well, that's the problem with me being cheap. So now I gotta buy the real thing, you understand? You always end up paying the fucking price. You always end up having to buy a new version and in the end, it costs you more money. So fuck that bullshit, go pro from the get go. You're never gonna have issues. And, and that's all I have for you today. Be smart, but uh, don't don't be a dumbass and get yourself injured because you want to save 20 bucks, 20, 40 bucks. Spend a little extra. It's going to be worse in the long run. I think you'll thank me for it. So that's my words of wisdom, experience-based. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down below. Did you ever have a bad experience with buying cheap shit? Let me know, and I'll talk to you guys next time.